walking here along Bagramian Street in Yerevan. So anyway guys, I took a walk today along Bagramia Street to show you the importance of pomegranate in Armenians' um, architectures. But as I walk, I discovered a lot of interesting places around Bagramian Street. While on my walk, um, I passed by two schools and two universities, I think. and. Um, three to four museums, five to six embassies including Thailand, China, Syria, and one more. But anyway, as our purpose for today is to tell you about uh, pomegranate and its importance in Armenia. So pomegranates, grapes, and apricots is what Armenia's famous fruits and they even became a part of um, architectures, mythology. Today we will focus more on pomegranates. So this fruit symbolizes um, fertility for women and virility for men and also for prosperity. It's so important among Armenians that even in old um, manuscripts and architectural designs and even in Kachkars, it's even there long before. So they, part, they made it as a part of their culture. Until now, it became a part of even art, cuisine, and it became also a theme for songs, lyrics to describe range of emotions from suffering to hope, rebirth, and survival of a nation. So here it is. Here are pomegranates and grapes and ornaments that I found along my walk and stroll in Bagramian Street. Grapes, pomegranates. but it looks like a kind of memorial monument and here also is a pomegranate of the Armenian president and just what's so good here in Armenia in Yerevan particularly is that you can take photo you can take videos within the prime minister and presidential house um, although and you can walk around but of course there are some restrictions so as I've said earlier we are walking along Bagramian Street and here is Marshal Hovanes Bagramian his monument so he is a high-ranking military during Soviet Union and below this statue is this scene uh, I'm not really sure about this scene 
Korean is from where or from which part of history but on the other side it's um, from the world wide so maybe it's uh, also a part of a great patriotic war memorial from Marshal Bagramian statue there is their going up and here is the American University in Armenia and this is the only university that is American accredited even during the time of USSR so I'm enjoying what I keep on discovering while walking along Bagramian Street it's a school or embassy of Argentina but I know escuela means school I'm sure like um, one famous tagline for Yerevan is it's a pink city and you can see here the reason why it's called the pink city pink city and pink buses here now in Lovers Park still in Bagramian Street and to be honest I really don't know if I really love or hate to be in this park but it's okay I'm just sitting on one side to respect the privacy of others really to respect the privacy of others or okay let's just face the reality we don't belong here in Lovers Park I will try to show you more videos about pomegranates and its um, importance with the architectures here in Armenia. We will take the clips from Republic Square and as you know a lot of pink beautiful buildings there with beautiful architectures and I want to show you that in one of the following videos. And so I'm leaving Lover's Park and I will show you the parliament here in Yerevan. It is where the Prime Minister of Armenia lives. So it is free to take photos here. Flowers of still the plant, pomegranates. We are now inside the area of the Parliament House and it's a nice park. Uh, it's not really a park but it's just the ground of 
the parliament house and it's free to roam around here. The trees, leaves have fallen already. So I think during summer it's more green and more better landscape and flowers. But anyway, it provides a nice walk around. So this is all around Bagramian Street for this video. And I have even entered, no not entered, but I wanted to enter one door. I thought it's a museum, but it was a constitutional court of Armenia. I found a chair there. I think I will go and sit there for a while. So again, thank you. One favor please, please don't forget to subscribe in this channel and tap the bell button to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. And I want to end this video with how Armenians end their fairy tales. And it goes like, three pomegranates fell from heaven, one for the storyteller, one for the listener and one for the whole world. Thank you, Hajok, Hajok.